hello everybody and welcome to your I believe 15th tutorial on learning how to create a game using C Sharp XNA Game Studio 4.0 and this tutorial we're going to be learning on how to create the men menu manager class so uh, before we started I'm going to tell you how it's going to work so the menu manager class is it, we're gonna have we're gonna have something like this um like the text file but we're gonna be using the load and the end load and it's just gonna be a page full of menus right uh if it was say like a rpg or something then maybe you wouldn't have want to have like pages and pages uh, like one page full of menus but in this game it's not gonna be really a lot of menus you're probably gonna just have um like the, the title screen menu, the option screen menu, uh, and that's it. Maybe a pause menu. I don't really know, but that that's really it. You know what I mean? So you're not going to have too much. It's not going to be overwhelming, okay? So let us start off by creating the menu, menu, menu manager class. Okay. And we're going to make this public. Okay, so... The menu manager class is going to have um, a list of menu items. Uh, we're going to have to have a list of list of animations, and the reason for this is that because our different menu items, depending on you, whether you want it to, whether you want it or not, it could have. Uh, multiple different animations and I'm going to be showing you how to do that with multiple animations but we're gonna to have to change up some of our animation we'll add some stuff to our animation class uh, so for now let's just make load content and let's just add one more and we're going to need we're going to need uh, the content and we're going to need graphics so we need to have a texture 2D uh, menu images. So in case you want to have images and menu items rather than text, or if you want to have both, then it's up to you. So we're going to say content manager, uh, content, and we'll say this contents. No, oh yeah, we need to create a content manager instance. And let's just put a position right here. Just add this in here since we will need it. Uh, I have the axis. Axis, I mean. And what else do we need? Uh, for now, th th that's all we will add. So we have content equals uh, content manager. I know, um, new content manager. Content dot service service provider and our default directory is content okay so we'll say that our we'll say menu items uh, menu images equals new list uh, we'll have animation uh, we also need to have a list of strings called uh, animation types uh and yeah okay so we got our menu images uh animation animation types and then we'll set our position default position to vector two zero and we set our default axis equals to or actually we'll load the position in our axis but uh, by default we'll leave it like that so we need uh, let's create a uh, unload content and we'll say content dot unload and we'll set the position equals to vector two zero and we'll set our animation uh, dot clear menu items dot clear menu images dot clear and animation types dot clear okay so uh I don't know why oh vector two 
Okay, so uh, what we need to do is we need to make a file manager, and I uh yeah, file manager, and we'll say file uh, for and here we'll put file manager equals null, and we're going to say file manager dot load content. Uh, we're gonna load it from load menus dot cme. So what we need taken, we need to add one more thing in here, and we need to add an ID, so identifier. So it's gonna be, uh, that's our. Oh, we need to also create a list of lists for attributes. So list list string attributes and contents, and we'll do right here attributes contents so we add in our attributes we add in our contents and we add in our ID okay so we're gonna load in all our stuff and we have our for loop like we had before so it's less than attributes dot count and we have our nested for loop Uh, J is less than attributes I dot count uh, J plus plus and we'll have a switch uh, or should we have a switch I was I remember there was a problem when I had a switch statement um, you know what we'll use switch until we run into a problem uh, IJ so case I'll put mine so when it's a menu item I'll say item and menu items dot add and we'll add in the content and break and if it's an image uh, then we say menu images dot add content dot load uh, texture 2d and contents I J and break uh, for axis we gonna we're gonna put axis is equal to int dot parse content so that will change it to an integer type and I hope this is right yeah and case position what we're gonna do is that we're gonna separate position elements and stuff uh, we're gonna position them based on spaces right so we're gonna say uh, string uh, temp is equal to contents ij dot split and we'll split it by spaces or you can split it by whatever value you want to and we'll say positions equal to new vector 2 and we'll say float dot parse and we'll put in um, temp 0 and float dot parse temp 1 and I'll put this into view so you can see it so like so okay and we put break okay so now if we have images sometimes if we have a sprite sheet or whatever and we only want to crop out a certain section of the uh, the image then we can have um, just like we have our source rect so we're gonna have source and we'll say temp is equal to contents ij dot split And we'll say that uh, we should we need to have a source rectangle. What we'll say source is equal to new vector two, no new rectangle. I mean, and we'll say int parse, and we'll say temp zero, int, and then we'll have int parse temp one, int parse temp two, int parse temp 3 okay and we should say break and we got to create that source variable um 
yeah okay let's create this variable first okay so um rectangle source okay let's see what's going on hmm well the problems right here okay so we got our thing set up so I'm gonna end that tutorial here and we'll finish it off or ho get farther in our next tutorial so I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye